Hey there, true believers, Rain Kisaragi with another Let's Unpack Kingdom Death Monster. What is Kingdom Death Monster? You should know already. This is the fourth video in this series, you should know by now. I'm cutting out the introduction and a lot of the intro fluff because we are unboxing this. The Dragon King. It's massive. Look at this box. It's bigger than my head and I have a very big head. Um, this is the single largest expansion that I'm getting, both in content and in size. This may take more than one video to do. That's that's how much I know is in here. Uh, basically, the Dragon King offers another uh, campaign you can play. It has a very large monster, another smaller monster, and about 800 cards. Not really that many. It's a lot, but it's not that many. So we're going to go ahead and start right now, because... We may not get this in one sitting. <laughs> I'm going to go as long as I can, but, um, yeah, I'm expecting this to be a two-parter, which would be interesting to see how I can finagle that into working. Ah, let me open it up. And right off the bat, we have Marshmallow. Right off the bat, we have the Brick of Spruces. I will take a gallery of pictures of these. Um, I'm not even going to pretend that I'm going to look at all this now. Um, I'll look at this later, but it, it's absolutely ridiculous. This is just this is just the models for this pack. Yeah, it's insane. Um, now we're going to go ahead and pull the booklet. Because there's a booklet. We're going to pull everything out of the box, actually, before we start doing anything else because um, of the kitten. Uh, locations and stuff, we'll look at that later. And this is breaking format, like, a lot. We have terrain tiles, we'll actually look at those up here really soon. And we have um, two decks of cards, a third deck of cards. Okay, just uh, three decks of cards for this one. Just three. That's all. Only three. Let's get, get that. Oh, its claw was stuck into one of the packing peanuts. Or a, a wing tip or something. I know, we're so organized here at the... Excuse me. Could you not steal my terrain tiles? No. You don't get to steal these. Uh, terrain tiles. We have this one. I don't know what it is yet. Marshmallow just slapped it, though, so <laughs> she must not like it. It's double-sided with lava, I guess? I don't know. We'll figure that out later. And then these guys. I don't know what these are. They're statues of some variety. I have eight of them, so we must use those a bit. Let's take a look at the booklet, though. The booklet, it's a big old booklet. It's actually substantially bigger than the other ones, so I'm expecting lots of content, and I know there's lots of content. So, <clears throat> uh, you can upgrade your core, there's a uh, new campaign, very neat. Uh, Double-sided terrain tiles, and, uh, obsidian towers those are, okay. Uh, two, two, they have two terrain cards, one for each face, fair. Uh, during the showdown, these tiles flip after they are placed, use the rules of whatever, okay. Um, if the lava pool or obsidian tower cards are drawn in, an, in another monster showdown, use only the side of the terrain tile corresponding to the card you drew. That's fair. So if you draw lava in against like the lion, you can go ahead and have lava in the lion fight because why not? Um, Dragon King is too massive to be moved. He's immune to knock back and can't be knocked down. That's sucky. Um, the tyrant showdown uses the gate terrain. I guess that's the little man statues. Um, there's scythe weapon proficiency, which is neato. It explains what the level, what the monster level symbol is with the star. Um, there's a new record sheet. I don't know where that is. Um, there's a new settlement record sheet. I don't know if I got those. I may not have got those. <clears throat> Unless I'm just blind, which is entirely possible. Hmm. I don't believe I got those. They're like big old pads. I'm sure I'd notice if I had them or not. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I didn't get those. Unless they're they're probably in the back of the book. Probably in the back of the book. I should have read like seven seconds further down the line 
instead of just ripping open my box again to look for it. I'll figure out this un this unboxing thing soon. I promise. Um, there is she in oh in this book. There we go. If I read two words further than where I was, good job. Uh, removed story events. That's just stuff for that. Um, new innovations, dragon traits and constellations. Uh, throughout this expansion, dragon traits are in bold red text. Um, or other issues they are gained. I don't know what that is. Dragon traits are permanent. If the server loses the original source of that trait, they are still considered to have that trait. Okay. I don't know what context that is. Um, Tyrant Showdown rules, there's glossary rules, and there is the glowing crater event. I'm going to show you this this art because it's very pretty. There is nudity, but there's no like explicit nudity, so I can go ahead and show you that. See, it's real pretty. Look at it. I love the art in this game. I do. I love the art to Kingdom Death so much. And that's somebody being bit in half by the Dragon King Showdown. Um, so you get the Dragon Armory location, and then you get other stuff. Their radiant core resource. Don't know what that is. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. <clears throat> okay. Um, meltdown. What the hell is that about? Caught in the disintegrate. Caught in the disintegrating wave is the text of this. That's that's fun. And the range is everything. Okay. Dragon King's nuclear heart explodes with an ear-shattering whine. Everything in Much of Death burns up in a wave of unseen heat. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, that sounds hilarious. <clears throat> um, we have Foundlings, which is the new event for uh, the first survivors. I guess you don't... You don't, like find a settlement, you find the, the dragon tyrant guy, and then um, he does, and he directs you to how to build your stuff, which is interesting. Uh, intimacy, I can show you the intimacy role. This is a happy picture in Kingdom Death. Look at that, it's happy. Look at them, they're happy. Yeah, they're going to die later, but for right now they're happy. Let them, let, let them have that for a second. Um, ba -ba -da. Mm. It's there's some different one and uh, one, two, and three roll results. Otherwise, it seems pretty similar. Um, you can get dragon traits though at born at birth, which is weird. I still don't know what those are exactly. Midnight's Children, what's this? Uh, the Radiant Orb Innovation, Marvel the Reflection. Okay, so that uh, that's the uh, replacement for the Lantern Oven event. Okay. And then Awake, which I guess is your courage and understanding benefits. Okay. Worry about that later. Unveil the Sky. Oh, this is horrifying. But it's not graphic, so I can show you. See, look at that. It's like faces in the sky just screaming downward. That's horrifying. It's very berserk in a way. This game is very, very berserk, like the anime. And I just realized this is just still in frame. <laughs> Didn't get moved away yet. <clears throat> oh, that's horrible. It's a little screaming faces in someone's eyes. That's constellations. What the hell is this? How are constellations? Hmm. I guess that's for the people of the stars thing. Uh, the tomb event. To become gods, you must kill God. The plot of every Final Fantasy game. Uh, there's rules, uh, rules for the tyrant showdown. He's shirtless, but it's a he, so it doesn't matter because double standards. Look at him. He's the dragon tyrant guy. He's the guy who leads your civilization. I guess you gotta go fight him. Got to beat him up a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I just turned the page to see that. <laughs> He's angry. That's why you're fighting him. He gets angry. <laughs> All right. Okay, here they are. Yeah, they're on this page. Um, I'm sure I've already showed you guys the um settle the character 
sheet, so I'm not going to do that. Um, there, there's a little box for the constellations thing, so that's neat. Um, I still don't know what those are exactly, but cool, we got it. And the campaign sheet looks the the diff the events are a little different. Um, instead of new survivors, it's foundlings. Then you fight the uh, Dragon King human. I guess that's the tyrant. Um, instead of the butcher, so you don't fight the butcher for a long time actually. And there's no um there's no uh, kingsman in this. Yeah. There's no Kingsman event here. Hmm. That's kind. Of, that's probably fine. The Kingsmen suck, so I'm pretty okay with that. And that's the back side of it, which is just the regular stuff. And we have once again a pair of white pages. Thanks, guys. Um, this looks really interesting. There's a lot of events in here. I didn't go too much in depth with them because I think they're going to make. Because I don't want to go over the events too much. Because if you're interested in Kingdom Death and you have a million dollars to spend, uh, you can uncover these yourself. And I don't want to spoil them for myself either. So, gonna gonna just let that be a thing that I don't go into super much. Let's look at the uh, locations real quick, since this will probably be a little faster than other things I could be doing here. Because I have three decks of cards to look through, and that's going to take forever. Let's see, we have our dividers. Hello again. We have our dividers. Neat. I, li I like the dividers. I'm going to go ahead and just try to not have the kitten steal my stuff. Hi, kitten. No, don't, no, don't chew on the metal. That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. You're gonna break your teeth. You're gonna break your teeth. You're gonna break your teeth. Ow, ow. Can you behave for one of these? You behaved earlier on the on the dung beetle night, I think. I think it was the dung beetle night she behaved. All right, we have the throne, which appears to be the new uh, lantern, whatever. The Lantern Horde. Sorry, I was being bitten again. She does that a lot. You're a horrible little butthead when I'm doing these. You're going to make me bleed again. Again. I have to specify. Um, you can fe fear and trembling. The uh, turns the gates to meet the lone figure mounted on the subsidian steps. You can spend a endeavor to approach the throne and then stuff happens. Um, it looks like you can either have a guy get murdered, they get a scar. I don't know what scar does. I've seen it in red text a few times. I'm going to move this away from the edge of the bed so it doesn't get slapped off and things break, because that's what's going to happen. Um, remove all permanent waste injuries. That's interesting. Don't know why it's, Actually, I know why it specifies waste injury, because it uh, mentions a waste injury in the um, intimacy event I saw and then you can oh you can draw the top card of the innovation deck and add it to your summit at no cost neat that's uh, that's quite good it's quite good quite good everything else on there is pretty bad but that's quite good and then we have the dragon armory the dragon armory is the dragon king gear place um, I don't know what any of this does yet. It's cool. There's another bow. Another um, arrow, right? There's another bow, too, but there's another arrow. Blast sword. That's a nuclear scythe. Ooh. I like scythes. Uh, shielded quiver. I know th I know that's good. Um, and that's kind of all that's here that really catches my eye. We'll learn more about the gear in a bit. <clears throat> Probably, uh... I don't know. Are we gonna do? Do you want to? Do you guys want to do the gear next? Because you can totally answer me um, through time and space. Um, yeah, we have two decks of cards. We have two monsters. We have a thousand other things in here, I'm sure. So uh, we may go to the decks of cards in the next video, and we'll do the gear this time. Need to once again open this. Just very carefully cut this open, so I don't ruin any of the cards, like a philistine. Yes, I use the word Philistine a lot, even in my personal life. 
it confuses people. It makes me happy. And yes, I'm just stuffing the plastic between my legs because that way I can make sure the kitten doesn't get at it. Alright, we have the Dragon Skull Helm. It is a four armor to the head. Um, if you have two of the reds linked, gain plus one, uh, plus one to all severe head injury rolls. Ignore shattered jaw. That's quite good. This is very solid armor. It's very strong, um, and you can avoid the uh, head explosion. You can still be decapitated, but it's le but you're more likely to be. De you're more likely to be decapitated instead of just your head exploding. Yes, there are two death. There are two uh, instant death, severe injuries on the head. It sucks, but it makes sense because the head's delicate. Makes sense. So that's cool. That's good. The dragon gloves, which are just armor to the hands. Neat. It doesn't have anything special about it. I can't talk about that. Uh, the Dragon Mantle. It's the armor for the body. If you have everything linked up at the start of the showdown, you beat your chest mightily and gain survival up, up, up to the limit. Neat. You can spend your survival freely during the uh, during the hunt phase. That's cool. Um, and it's got four armor, so pretty good. The Dragon Belt. And that is, if you have the blue and the red linked, you are not knocked down from uh, from suffering a heavy injury. Very cool. Because normally, 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 when you take a heavy injury, um, it okay. Injuries in Kingdom Death go all of your armor, then a light, then a free light wound, then the heavy wound. On the heavy injury, you get knocked down as well. Um, this says you're not. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, it's cool that you don't have to get knocked down. Ideally, you're not, we don't want to get to that point anyway, but it's nice that you don't have to get knocked down. Then we have the Dragon Boots. Dragon Boots. Um, gain, two movement, gain two movement during your act. Neat. Just straight up more movement. That's really quite good. Then we have... Um, yeah, it's different art. Different art on all of these. Oh, that's so cool. I'll show both sets of the art in the side because there's like two sets of art for like all of these armor pieces. That's so cool. If you're watching this, then you're just gonna see both sets. You're not gonna you're not gonna see me do one and then the other. So you're just gonna see both sets side by side. It's really cool. I like that there's multiple arts. That's cool. That took a lot of extra energy, I'm sure. So very much appreciated, Poots team. Then we have the the dragon chakram. It's a disc that you can throw like Xena. Uh, range three. Cool, I guess. Uh, two speed, six plus hits, three. It's a solid starter weapon, I guess. Um, if you hit the monster, if you hit the monster, uh, if you hit the monster, gains minus one evasion until the, until the end of the round, meaning it's easier to hit for future for future people. So that's pretty cool. It's not great. It's fine. I could see it being used early, but that's kind of it's, it's not it's not going to be a main weapon for you. <clears throat> we have the dragon bite bolt. It's the arrow that I saw. One speed, typical for an arrow. Six plus hits, six strength. It's pretty fine. Slow again. Ammo bow. They had to add that because people thought you could just attack with the with the uh, the starting arrow. You could just stab people with it. No, you need a bow to use arrows, guys. It's not that complicated. It's really not. Uh, Devastating 1, very cool. Uh, if you would wound the monster, it suffers knockback 5. Use once per showdown. Cool, so you can shove the monster around with that. That's that's pretty cool. Um, displacement stuff is very useful, so I'm uh, very down for, down for that effect. It's quite good. Nice little extra option for our, your archer character. Now the shielded quiver. I know this is. I know this is really, really good. Um, I want to read this very quickly. Uh, you may you may activate and gain the benefits of each arrow in your gear grid one additional time per showdown. Basically, you can use your special arrows twice. So your dragon bite bolt, you can uh, knock back five twice. Neat. Very, very cool. Um, that's basically essential for your bow character now. Um, yeah, that's just. There's no other ar no other argument about that. You you're gonna have to have this. It's too good not to. 
Then the Blast Shield, the next one. Um, one speed, typical for a shield, 7 plus, again, pretty typical for a shield, it's not a weapon, it's a shield. Uh, 4 strength, pretty high, actually, for a shield. Um, one armor at all locations, typical for a shield, block 1, nah, again, that's pretty typical. Uh, the first time you block, uh, block a hit each showdown, gain the party target token. That's neat. You can draw aggro as your shield tank character, so, I mean, that's pretty useful utility. Um, everything else is just pretty standard for a shield. I mean, it doesn't look, it doesn't look all that special compared to other shields, but that, uh, that effect's nice, though. So, there's that. Now the Talon Knife. Um, it is a 2-speed, typical for a dagger, 6 plus, and f uh, six plus hits, and 4 strength. Paired, which is Again, pretty typical for a dagger. These are all very... So far, this is very standard gear for what you'd expect <laughs> this to be. Um, if all of your attack rolls hit, gain Savage and Deadly in, until the end of your attack. That's neat. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, though. That's not normal at all. That's actually quite interesting. Um, but if all your attack rolls hit... So you're going to be rolling two dice at least, and you have to make two hits... So I guess put on an accurate character. Get your get your uh, get your bonus effect on with that. I, I actually like these daggers. Uh, not sure I'd use them over like over like the cult stuff uh, over the cult speaker knife. But I mean I'm definitely not gonna. Oh oh it's a, oh it's a katar actually. It's not a, it's, it's not a dagger. It's a, it's it's a, uh, it's a katar. And that's really good. This is a very useful katar then. Never mind. It's not a dagger, it's a guitar. It's called Knife. I was confused. Uh, the Blast Sword is the next thing we're looking at. Uh, the Blast Sword is a sword. I'm, I have to check this time because of naming. Uh, two speed, six plus, and four strength. Same as, the da same as the dagger, it's a pretty weak sword. It has block one, though. That's unique. Uh, when, you spin, uh, when, you spin, when you spend an activation to walk with this weapon, you gain a survival. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, you could actually use this instead of a shield if you didn't mind losing out on the uh, the armor. But this could always be a backup thing to give you um, the extra survival. So it's not bad. It's not bad. Not breaking new ground, but it's not bad. We have the nuclear knife. Uh, three speed, very fast for a dagger, but this is a dagger. I looked this time. It's a dagger. Uh, six plus hits and three strength, pretty normal dagger stats. Uh, if you have if you have uh, one of each color of this linked, so on three sides, uh, in activation the edge ignites over three brain damage. Your next attack with next attack with this weapon gains devastating one. Cool. So you can hit real hard at the cost of um, hurting your brain a little bit. Um, it's pretty normal dagger. It has a nice effect, but I don't know if I'd want to take three brain damage to get devastating one when there's better weapons to do that. But if you only have a dagger, and you can only use a dagger, then I'd rather have this than other daggers. I guess, I suppose. Now we have the nuclear scythe. It's the first scythe weapon in the in the game. So that's something. Let me just shift real quick. There we go. Feel a little better now. It's the first scythe in the game, so which is that's pretty cool. I don't know what special what's special about scythes, but we'll find out later. Uh, it's a scythe, two-handed nuclear. That's an interesting keyword. Uh, two speed, six plus four strength. Reach two. Range is always good. Range on melee is always good. If everything is linked up, you can use your activation to do the same thing as the dagger, the ignite and devastating one. Um, this I'm a little happier with having that effect on it because um, this has range on it. It's a me it's it has the attribute reach, which is um, range for melee for melee weapons. Um, you can attack safely from a so I, I actually like that a little more. Um, if this is the only scythe that we get here, that's disappointing. I don't think anyone's gonna be going out of their way to master scythe unless the scythe specialization is really good which I don't I don't know I don't know actually I have no idea what it's gonna be what's gonna be we'll figure it out later 
it's okay. I guess we'll see later if it's any good or not. We have the Blue Power Core. I had to look at the name real quick to make sure I knew the name. Uh, all nuclear gear cards in your grid gain deadly too. Handy. Extra critical hits is always, always good, and that's a small price to pay for extra critical hits. So, neat. I like that. Um, that definitely adds a lot of utility to that scythe and makes it a little better. I don't know if I'd use it yet, but I can definitely see how this is going to... This is a theme we have going here. And then the red power core, the extra thing, uh, the other side of things, I suppose. All nuclear uh, gear cards in your grid gain sharp. Neat. Uh, we've covered what sharp is before. You add an extra d10 to your um, strength roll, so you roll 2d10, which is great, which makes it like twice as, like, twice as easy or half as hard, depending on how you want to word your English, to hurt somebody. So I think between those two, I could validate using a nuclear weapon. But, um, yeah, I, it's feeling more appealing. I get the theme we're doing here, so, cool. Then we have the Dragon Vestments, which, uh, add one armor to all, one, add one armor to all, to all, all hit locations. When you gain a random fighting art, select a dragon trait one instead. I don't know what that means, though. I don't know what dragon trait things are, though. So I'll figure it out, I guess. But that's cool, I guess. It's, it's an other item that adds armor, so it's fine. I guess. <laughs> Not being very in-depth here, because I don't understand the context. Uh, we have the Celestial Spear. Look at it. Uh, two speed, five plus hits for strength. Reach two, pretty standard for a spear. It's kind of low strength, but... Eh. Uh, gain plus five strength when attacking this weapon if if, uh, if you have a constellation. There's your extra strength right there, um, and it is a spear. I had to check, even though it's called a spear. Um, I don't know. I think it's fine. It's kind of weak, but I guess the point is to get a constellation, so I it's gonna be better then, I guess. It's a rare gear, too, so, you, so there's a story event that you get it through. Mm. I don't know. I've seen worse spears. I've seen better in this game. That's kind of my opinion about that. We have the Hazmat Shield. It's a screaming dragon face. Uh, two speed. That's actually quite high for a shield. Four plus hits. That's really good. And seven strength. This is a very aggressive shield. I, I, I don't think I've seen that in this game yet. You have block two. Block two is good. Uh, let's uh, whenever you whenever you activate your block action, you can avoid uh, two hits. Then because it's block two, it's very explanatory. Uh, add two armor to all. Add two armor. Add two armor to all uh, to all to all hit locations. When the monster when when the monster performs unseen agony or meltdown, I guess those are dragon abilities. Uh, roll a d10 on a two plus. You suffer no damage. Neat. Uh, the meltdown range in that was massive. It was like the whole board. So if you can just ignore it with the hazmat shield, that's quite useful. It's rare, obviously, but it's quite good. I, I like that. That's a very powerful shield. Then we have the Husk of Destiny, which is an item other, and it's cursed. When your destiny is fulfilled. You are always insane. That's... Not bad, but it's also not good. Because <laughs> being insane doesn't really do too much for you, like, stats-wise or anything. It affects a lot of other abilities. Uh, there's some abilities that say you can't spend survival unless you're insane. You can't spend survival if you are insane. And then there's Immortal, which says when you're insane, you take all of your damage to your brain instead of your body. So I guess this could technically make somebody who has Immortal invincible. I mean, technically. That's a little silly. Hi. Hi, kitten. Are you going to be lovable or are you going to be fighty? I'm not sure yet. No, she's going to be, you know, fighty. That's what I thought. Ow. That one hurt. <laughs> 
Then we have the Regal Edge. It's a sword. Uh, one speed, that's fine, realistically. Uh, five, plus, five plus hits, two strength. That's not great. But it has sharp, though. And gain a speed and four strength when, uh, uh, when using this, uh, when using this if, uh, if you have a constellation. I get the theme of this, of this game, of this um, expansion and the extra campaign. I get it. You're trying to get these these constellation thingies. I don't know how you get it, but you definitely get it. And then you can get better at stuff through it. So, cool. Uh, that's the gear. I'm going to take a break here and probably do a second video for the other two decks of cards uh, because I don't have the time to do a thousand hour video here. Uh, but I hope you guys will join me in the next video where we will look at the decks of cards. So, till then, till then. Okay? Out.